Hey, welcome back on this Thursday morning. So for today, our next system is moving in and it's bringing in some very light rain showers. We could have a few rumbles of thunder later on this afternoon and evening. Now, as we look towards the weekend, lots of things happening. There are a couple of changes for this weekend. It's trending drier for daytime hours, especially on Saturday. However, we are still expecting some thunder showers Saturday evening. Sunday for right now is staying dry and the next week we have the potential of a few more disturbances coming in with maybe some soaking rain on Monday and Tuesday. We're we're several days out so we'll see how that changes but we're really hoping for some soaking rain next week. Here's the system that's moving in right now area of low pressure over into Minnesota a nice little swath of a light to steady rain from northern Wisconsin down all the way towards the northern eastern tip of Iowa at this moment. There have been a few pockets of more moderate rain associated with this over into Wisconsin, but it's generally just light to steady across the west end of the UP. We've also noticed some clouds increase with this rain in the west end of the UP as well. We do have some clear skies towards the central and the eastern counties. Right now, as I mentioned, just generally light, but a little bit more steady potentially along M64, down through portions of Berglin, down into US2 into Marinesco. You can see those darker shades of green there, especially on the far tip of western Gogibbet County, west of Ironwood. So as far as rainfall amounts out of this today, it's not super important at about a tenth to about a quarter of an inch of rain possible in some isolated areas. Here's the hour by hour as this moves in. Now, as this moves into the central UP, it's right around midday. This is 1 p.m. It's a little bit more scattered about by that point in time, and it continues to kind of fall apart into the af late afternoon and evening hours. That's where we could have the potential of a few rumbles of thunder. But as I mentioned, no washout conditions expected. This clears out tomorrow. We're looking at more sunshine and some clouds tomorrow. Uh, we do have uh, warmer conditions expected for tomorrow. There might be a few stray sprinkles, but otherwise looking good for Friday. Saturday daytime hours, nothing to really stop on because it's going to be dry during our daytime hours with some sunshine and a little bit more on the toasty side. Now, I would say between 7 and 9 o'clock at night is when we have this line of showers and thunderstorms moving into the western UP. So there is that potential, but it's for Saturday evening. If you're getting outdoors during the daytime hours on Saturday, you're going to be doing just fine. Our interior areas into the 60s this afternoon, 50s along the shorelines of the Great Lakes. Tomorrow morning will be a little bit milder into the 40s, and then tomorrow afternoon a little bit warmer with lower 70s in interior areas. Then we are cranking up potentially AC units or busting out the AC units, installing the AC units this weekend because uh, Saturday is going to be noticeably warmer for us. Many areas climbing into the upper 70s Saturday during the afternoon, and there is the potential of maybe around 80 degrees along the Wisconsin state line or the interior west.